Hyperbaric is not a treatment for disease. We get questions all the time about, can I use hyperbaric to treat this condition? Hey, I'd like to treat this condition with hyperbaric. How many sessions should I use? What's the protocol to treat this condition with hyperbaric oxygen? And while we absolutely apply hyperbaric to a range of different conditions, that is true. What we're really doing is we're applying hyperbaric to people. And those people have a certain set of either signs or symptoms, or these people have physiology that is shifted in a way that makes oxygen likely to help them. Not because it's the treatment for their disease, not because it's the cure for the condition that they have, but because oxygen is part of the fuel system that allows our cells to make energy. And when we improve the energy making component of our cell, we can improve a lot of different conditions, but really we can improve a lot of people's signs and symptoms because low cellular energy is a big piece of the puzzle when it comes to especially chronic illness and even aging. And so as we provide the body with this extra oxygen, as we upregulate the cellular function, as we upregulate the energy production inside the cell, we can start to see people improve. And that's what we're looking for ultimately. I'm bringing this up because I'm going to do a series of videos on different conditions and how hyperbaric could be appropriate in that person's journey. But I want to make it absolutely crystal clear that it's not because we're treating their disease or their condition. It's just because the condition or the issue that this person has is X, Y, and Z. The mechanisms of action that we've talked about in previous videos are A, B, and C. And does it make sense if this is the condition and how it shows up in our physiology, and this is the treatment and how it shifts our physiology, does it make sense to apply this therapy to this person? And if we think about hyperbaric from that standpoint, two things will happen. Number one, we'll be very clear with the likelihood that we're going to get the results that we're looking for. We're not just guessing. We're not just assuming it should just work because it helps so many things. And two, we'll be able to be very careful with regard to how we approach the conversation when we're talking either with other healthcare professionals or with the public about what claims we're making. Because we're not claiming to treat or cure illness. We're just claiming to improve the oxygenation inside a person's body. And as a result of that improved oxygenation, these would be the outcomes. And that's the thought process I want to take into the next few videos.